In the last two videos of preposition series, we discussed about preposition of time and place. And now, let's discuss directions. Let's start with the common confusion between to and towards. See these sentences. If you need any help, you can always come to me. Or, I flew from Kolkata to Chandigarh. This implies to has the sense of destination. On the other hand, towards holds the sense of direction. Example, the aircraft was flying towards Berlin when the engine developed a snack. Now, act in terms of directions. In the sentence, he threw the stone at the dog, act implies that he wanted to hit the dog with the stone. Now let's do a quick comparison to understand these entities correctly. To, towards and at. First one, Karan threw the ball to me, meaning the ball reached me. Then, Karan threw the ball towards me. This means he threw the ball in my direction but not to me. Whereas, Karan threw the ball at me means he hit me with the ball. Clear? Note that at is also used in the following phrasal verbs like aim at, point at, smile at, throw at, look at, mock at, etc. Now, let's compare in and into. Observe the sentences. He put his hand into his pocket. Another one. There was enough money in his pocket. Did you notice? In is showing a position. Whereas, into shows movement. So, if you get a question like, The dog jumped, dashed the river to save the drowning child, you should fill the blank with what? Into. Got it? For is used to denote direction when the verb shows the beginning of a movement. As in, Shriya leaves for school by 6.30 am or we will be leaving for Manali latest by tomorrow morning. And the preposition against is used to show pressure or contact. Example, the wave stuck against the shore. Preposition of direction from is used with the point of departure. Example, Mr. Segal has been transferred from his office. And which preposition would he use here? The king fell dash his horse and died. Take your hand dash my shoulder. From O double F of or out of. Correct. Use O double F of because it shows separation from the surface of or down from. And out of is just the opposite of into. It means from the interior of. Like the boy took a letter out of his pocket. Now let's quickly understand the uses of other such prepositions through sentences. Using up. When we are climbing up a hill, we are moving against the force of gravity. Or walking up the steep slope was very tiring. Using down. It is difficult to control one's speed while going down a hill. Or she fell down the stairs and twisted her ankle. Using over. The pilot announced that a plane was flying over the Alps. Or the thief jumped over the wall and disappeared into a side lane. Using through. I peeped into the room through the keyhole or we will have to pass through a busy market. Using round. The dog went round the truck, sniffing every part of it. Or we went round the entire area and took some photographs. Using along. 
Walk along this road till the next crossing and then turn right. Or the snail slowly moved along the edge of the field. Using a cross, the child ran across the road unmindful of the heavy traffic. Or he jumped into the river and swam across to the other bank using past. Just walk past the station and look for a three-storied building. Or some strange object flew past my face. Fortunately, it did not hit me. And we are done for the day. The next video of this series is going to be a magic wand for your upcoming exam and even for your board exams. So stay tuned to get notified and don't forget to share the videos with your bestie. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.